Remember your wild heart face. Remember your musically face. Your vampire face. Hey everyone, well, welcome to YouTube video. My name is Sailor Skin, and I don't know about you, but I think I'm pretty cool. I'm totally not a piggy girl. Hey everyone, welcome to YouTube video. My name is Sailor Skin, and I think I already did my intro, I don't remember. But in this video, I am going to do a review on First Kill. And I know this video is already very late due, but that's because I've been putting it off for a very long time. I have no show. Oh, someone liked my comment. I am pretty cool. That was so cringe. <laughs> so, not I mean to brag, but I kinda do. I watched the show the same day it came out and I finished it in that same day. You could say it was because it was pretty good or because I just liked the lesbian couple, but the review I'm gonna give here is mostly based on my opinion and my perspective on their creative choices I guess that's how you say it because I am thinking of going into a film career and I also have like AV technology classes which is basically like directing and making your own videos editing and stuff so I know pretty much a lot about that stuff all these like details I'm gonna point out is just basically about that first we're gonna start with the pros and there's a lot of cons this is also my very first commentary video and I hope I'm doing really well I just kind of want to change the pace because I always do vlogs and hauls and I'm I'm tired of that. I only do them when like I run out of ideas. Okay, 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 let's start. Pros. I love the lesbian representation. The main characters were, I think they were a good cast. As far as I've seen, I've barely watched a show with like the main couple as lesbians, but I'm pretty sure there's other ones, but they're not as like common known. It's mostly just gay couples that appear into the mix. I love the Romeo and Juliet concept with the rivaling families. I think that was a very average choice, but it, I, it makes sense because Canelope's family is like monster hunters. Juliet's family is like a vampire, so they're like, obviously they're gonna be rivaling. They're not gonna be on the same side. So I like that. It makes sense for the concept and the story. I also love the intro song. The our love story could be kind of boring. I had a freaking Yandere love face. It was very hard to get out of. I have a bunch of freaking drawings where like you could just tell something Something wasn't right there. Yeah, it's also like a song I would listen to a lot because of my supernatural face with vampires Okay, and that's it for the pros. Now on to cons I don't know if you guys noticed but it was very prevalent not get over it but there was too much music there was too much music too goddamn much music I, like, I love music but it was just so much to the point where it was taken away from the story like at the very beginning in the scene where Juliet comes home from meeting Canelope from school she's just like kind of happy and she lays down on her bed I don't remember I only watched the show once but I think it's enough okay I think I think that's enough but like they put music on top of her like thinking about it and I was just like that's kind of odd like and even before that there was like another song and before that it was another song so it was just like different songs different types of beats and lyrics they were just like so annoying to listen to because i just wanted to like feel what juliet was feeling and i just couldn't because there was so much music because i don't know if you guys noticed but sometimes the music they put on top of some scenes they just don't make sense with what's happening okay so next con well con and pro i don't know i also love the first two episodes yes because they bring us both into canelope's and juliet's thoughts like first meeting each other and i think that's a pretty good choice but i really in the deepest of my heart wish that they would have given us like a introduction to both of their families first because I legit had no idea that Juliet's dad was the mayor of the town and that's like a really good detail we should have known about since the beginning Juliet could have said oh and my dad is a very important person in the my family town. is rich my family is that my sister my dad my mom my family that could have changed the whole story since the beginning oh my dad is a mayor yeah he has a lot of control over the town and that's why the people don't know that we're vampires and also that information literally adds way more stakes to Juliet's family and to the story just think about it it, it really does okay now to the third one I know you guys might be mad at me for this one but I wish the couple would have more chemistry <laughs> There 
was none in my opinion because literally all they did was like exchange glances and like boom they're meant for each other when like really love takes time in my experience and i think what they were trying to go for was like portray that they were meant for each other right since the beginning because Canelope got cleansing of some sort to get rid of uh, Juliet's by poison and like running to Juliet's house right after getting cleansed it's just like oh they were meant for each other actually but I don't know like maybe a little bit more of like bonding between them before getting into the family war fiasco would have gotten me at least to love more of the characters being together because it just felt like very rushed but like when I talk about bonding I mean like Heartstopper vibes like if you've seen Heartstopper you know that like they were bonding a lot they were like into these situations like situational bonding and um action bonding by action bonding i mean like physical movement you react upon a decision you made and that ends up being the right decision or the wrong decision that makes you both want to be together because literally you do not need words to bond for example maybe they could have gone to the movies like as a date they're having a romantic time and then something bad happens and they have to solve it together just an example vampire related oh uh these people at the theater are talking about how they want to kill vampires and stuff and then Juliet being right next to those people saying all that stuff makes her uncomfortable so what does Penelope do next she tries to solve it she tries to calm down Juliet and maybe Penelope even shuts these people off and scares them off or something which in turn makes Juliet more comfortable and that's what I mean by situational bonding it could be anything else there's like so many possibilities but that's just one and something that kind of threw me off that they didn't do something situational that shows like both sides of them like the good and the bad after that if they want to be with each other well they want to be with each other because they love each other and that brings me to the next con Penelope's dream so Canelope had like a dream where Juliet was Eve or Lilith I don't think I remember and Canelope was Adam and I think this was just like a pet peeve but I think in my opinion it would have been much more romantic and better interpreted if they had just not talked at all like at all like in the dream and instead just talked through their actions for example they could have both just entered the dream walked in circles and looked at each other in love almost about to kiss but then the snake appears on Juliet's shoulder Juliet does some sort of movement to indicate that Penelope should run and then she runs away and that's where the dream ends like you don't need all this talking in the dream you know dreams are like meant to be interpreted in any way because it's a dream and most of the time when you wake up you don't even remember what you were saying in the dream so it's better to just like not say anything at all and express everything through actions okay and this one's the last one I think this one's Oy. I think this one's understandable in my opinion so at the very end the guy that's dying in the scene with the zombie girl and they had like the, the zombie song on from the opening I know the song has relevance because of the dead zombie girl but, but not really because the guy and the zombie girl were never in love but like I think it would have been much better if they had established some sort of relationship between them beforehand like maybe before she was killed like you could have like shown that she had some obsession with him something like that but he did not reciprocate the same feelings because they already had a girlfriend and was like hooking up with the main character's best friend this would have literally made the scene where she rips out his heart way more intense and would establish a connection between the characters and the viewers all i'm trying to say here is that all the show needed was to make sense for their music choices and character choices to make sense to the story because i kid you not so many things took me out of the story in this show because I literally feel in the deepest of my heart, as I said again, that this scene where the girl rips out this guy's heart, this closeted guy's heart, mind you, would have been way more emotional if we were invested in their story and characters, which I feel like it was supposed to be an emotional scene, but it wasn't. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Only last thoughts are that I really like the, the gay best friend from the main character. I like the relationship. The first time he came out on the first episode with her singing a song in the car, I was just like... I like you such a likable character and i wish it came out more and um, another last thoughts was that i think the show has a lot of potential it's just that it was very rushed at the very end i did not understand who was fighting against who because juliet's brother came out of nowhere they kind of tried to like connect the points at the very end but it was too late to understand in my opinion but it was an enjoyable show those are like my personal pet peeves that i did not like in there and that i hope they fix in the second season if there is one that's gonna be all for this video thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you want me to make more of these type of videos and if you agree or disagree with anything that i've said in this video i'm open to opinions you'll see me in the next video bye guys also look at this watch i got i gotta watch i feel so rich it doesn't do anything i don't know what to do with this i just like have it on bye
It literally just started raining right after I finished the video. This is a sign. Oh, it is raining, but it's sunny. This is a sign. I don't know what type of sign, but this is an omen. I don't know what type of omen, but it is. Eh, sorry. Messy room, you know? It's a girl room. It's always messy. 